tuning in back into what's the grape says and today i have a story about um 50 cents and little tushi tunchi whatever the hell he calling himself girl i don't i don't care little wayne crackhead ass um so a little like 50 cents stopped by uh little Wayne's podcast and he has a lot of crap to say but i want y'all to specifically to listen to this little clip that i have coming up um and hear what he had to say about black women and his precious exoticals all right y'all listen to this y'all and i'll be back with my commentary So I go, look at this angry black motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. You're trying to fuck up the whole vibe. You understand what I'm saying to you? Because you're going, no, I know what the fuck you're doing, bitch. And you go, and it's not even, it's not even if that's the real thing. But it's the way, instinctively, how you feel. Because the person is, got defensive. You're def- Okay, y'all. Y'all just heard all of that colorism and ignorance wrapped up and covered by preference, okay? So, this week has just begun, and we already have our Trash of the Week contestants, uh, Little Rain and 50 Cent. Um, as you guys just listened, uh, 50 Cent joined Little Rain on his weak-ass podcast called Tune to You or whatever the hell it's called. I'm not sure. I don't watch or listen to it, and I try to avoid anything um, with Little Rain color his ass and, um, and being involved. But these two um, basically came together not to talk about strategy or building for the black community, but to speak about their love for exoticals. <laughs> y'all can't make this shit up. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, and y'all heard it, you know, what he was saying about, you know, black women that live in black neighborhoods versus foreign women that just arrived off the boats. His words, not mine. Um, and how... He, you know that this is not what they're used to seeing and they're so exotic and all of stuff like and then he's saying stuff about how he felt like you know black women mess you know black women come around and ask like why you, how you end up with her how you like i don't I, I bet there's not black women asking him asking 50 cent how he ended up with anyone we know how you ended up with them okay you flashed that money and they came and run it like none of none of us black women really care too much about men dating outside of their um race we don't care if you want to go and date whoever you want to date it's the fact that you always bring up black women you always have us in your mouth if you are happy if you want to be with someone that's not black do you boo boo but don't don't bring us up 
Especially when we sitting over here polishing our nails, minding our business, getting our degrees, and being happily married. Okay? We're not thinking about y'all. It's ridiculous. Leave us alone. But I'm not, you know, I'm not surprised, you know, 50 Cent has showed, you know, examples of him being a colorist and him preferring um, everyone every other woman over black women um and you can see like just look out look how he treats his son like women are we really missing anything black women are we really missing anything look how this man treats his son his firstborn okay that firstborn who looks exactly like him he can't stand to look at he acts like he hates and the only reason why I honestly feel like he hate that boy, or oh, well, he's a man now, he hate that man, is because of the mother. He hates the mom. I hate that she wasn't one of those black women that was going to grovel and run and deal with anything that he had come in her way. He hated that. Because from, from previous interviews that I've um, listened to, it seems like she left him. She walked out on him. After all the BS that um, he, she kept put, he kept putting her through, cheating with this woman, that woman, and trying to come home and lay up with her. Okay, so we really, so she really ain't missing nothing out. She didn't miss, she didn't miss out on anything, you know. And it's just funny because you know, and it's funny because I'm sitting here and I'm wondering, where is uh, y'all favorite Uncle Snoop at? What? Where is he at? I know y'all probably sitting there like, why why is she worried about where is uh, Snoop Dogg at? Why is she worried about him? I'm wondering where where he is at because I remember when Gail King did that interview um, with with um, her name is really uh, skipping my mind right now. I can't think of her name right now, but she's a, a famous basketball player and she was um, close friends with Kobe. And um, Gail King had asked um, a question about some accusations that uh, happened before. And I remember Snoop had came out and it was like, you know, he was on this rant and, you know, this ra- rant. He was just ranting, right? And he's sitting there, he's like, you know, it's always your kind. It's always, he, I think he said something along the lines like, it's always y'all. It's always y'all. So, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm like, well, it's always y'all. Y'all are always coming up online, black celebrity men. And showing y'all dislike for black women, voicing your dislike for black women. And it's disgusting. And a lot of celebrities need to speak out about this. You know, some, a lot of, I know like in um, 50 Cent comments, a lot of black women was asking for celebrities to speak out. And one um, ex-wife of celebrity, uh, Tori Hart, Kevin's Hart ex-wife, um, came out and she had something to say about uh, 50 Cent's comments. So I want y'all to listen to that and I'll be back. What's up, y'all? Um, I'm going to just not dwell on this, but be pretty brief. Um, as I sit here in my car and it, it, it just jacked up, I'm okay with that. Um, whatever. Because I'm sure people will go and start addressing that in, in the comment section. So let me just get out, get out, out the way. Yes, my hair is which you like to call nappy, the, the texture of Jesus is, um, yes, it is. Um, and I'm okay with that because this is how God made me and I love it. So I'm gonna just get right into it about what has been going on for a long time and what needs to stop. Okay. I'm okay with black men dating outside their race. Like I really could give a damn if you date outside your race I've dated outside my race several times and as as y'all like to call it they were exotic men the difference is is that me dating these exotic men didn't make me put down my brothers because I still love my black men too and just because these men were of a different stature different color different background, different hair texture, different whatever. It didn't make them any better than my black brothers or make me want to go on air and say, yeah, you know, I dated this and it's because they, he look exotic, you know, sorry if I don't want you no more, black brother. No, just because you have a preference don't mean you have to down your lineage and down where you come from. That is the issue. I am so sick and tired of people trying to say that black women are angry, black women are bitter. Ain't nothing bitter 
about me. I'm sitting in a $110,000 car and that's material stuff. So I don't even want to even bring that into play. I live in a beautiful home. Okay, I uh, feel like I'm set for life and don't have a worry in the world. I have no reason at all to be bitter. None at all. But I do have a problem with when we stand up for black men, black women. We stand up for black men and are so loyal to y'all, so good to y'all. And we break our backs for y'all and y'all don't have the same respect for us. Like what you like. But come on, have our backs the way we have y'all's. Show us the respect, the love, the appreciation, the praise that we deserve. Because it's getting tired, especially in these times. It's real tired and it's done and it's dead. Have something else to talk about other than down in your beautiful black queens. How about that, black men? Stand up. So y'all just heard Miss Tori Hart saying that word, you know. Enough is enough. It's a lot of women that's tired of seeing the comments, the ignorance. From the Kodak Blacks to the 50 Cents and Lil Wayne's of the world. Like, people are tired of hearing it, you know? And I think, like, a lot of uh, black women took to 50 Cent posts to, you know, voice their opinion about his um, comments on the podcast but I want y'all just to also look at what he had to say because he really didn't care he didn't care he, he basically said that um when the shade room posted the clip of what he's um what he said on Toonchi's <laughs> Lil Wayne's podcast um 50 Cent said you know the shade room ain't nothing for this what I said is true now picture me unaffected unapologetic and unavailable for any comp any other comments you know that's what he decided to say and it i'm just here to tell like the women that was writing on his post like oh you you know is that a women did not purchase get rich or die trying the block is hot and they sure as hell wasn't watching power i'm sick of supporting y'all sellouts you know saying them things saying that to him he doesn't care he's rich you know just do what you wrote stop supporting these men these men are unacceptable and they should not be supported with your money period end the story so when they start filling it in their pockets maybe then they'll start changing their attitude their tune and they'll stop you know posting this stuff online and stop saying this stuff to to black women and to other people out in the world to listen to So yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by surprised at all that he uh, 50 Cent decided to go online and say <clears throat> these things while um, being interviewed by Tunchi, you know. But since he doesn't have any remorse for what he says, since he does not care and he doubled down, um, black women just need to show him that they're not going to support him at all anymore, you know. Because that means not watching any more of those. The, the new power chapters or whatever the hell that stuff is called that's coming out supporting any of his movies you know I don't know the last time he did a song or rap you know who cares I don't listen to it it's just <clears throat> maybe he'll start to see we don't support him and he'll back off and stop saying things like that and more, and it'll become a trend you know it'll, other celebrities will start to fall in line and realize that <clears throat> we're not going to be the ones that to be shitted on. You're not going to say whatever you want to say about black women and still think that you're going to be able to get black dollars in your pocket. So let me get on up out of here, y'all. But anyway, before I go, make sure you guys leave a comment. Make sure you like us and subscribe to us. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Y'all have a good night.